The sister blades are a fast-paced, close-range weapon. Here are some of the best boons I've found to make those blades lethal. Aphrodite is a great god to choose, because a lot of her boons work well with close range. Flutter Strike is a perfect example of this. It takes the attack boon slot and increases damage by 100% on close range enemies, which is going to be almost all the enemies when you're using the Twin Blades. This 100% can also even be powered up with Palm Fruits to be even more than 100%. Her dodge boon, Passion Dash, also helps improve damage output while protecting this high-risk playstyle. This boon causes damage from start and stop of the dash, so because you are constantly trying to get at the enemy's back, it will be common for both triggers to hit. And this benefit is also defensive. Each hit applies a weak to the enemies, which lessens their damage output. This is great because the Sister Blades encourage close-range combat, which can often lead to unexpected damage. Aphrodite also has a buff boon called Secret Crush. This boon boosts attack power with the cost of priming some magic. Boosting attack power with the Sister Blades is huge, though, because each hit now does significantly more damage. The prime cost is not that much, because the Sister Blades do not use a lot of magic, because their Omega attacks aren't as important for their damage output. For the cast spot, a great boon is Demeter's Arctic Ring. This boon causes cast to inflict freeze damage, which is great for two reasons. One, it applies a passive damage to anyone that steps in Mel's cast. And two, the cast zoning abilities are greatly improved, as the enemies are not only slowed, but completely frozen in place. And with a frozen enemy, it is much easier to pull off the full combo of the Sisters' Blades, as the combo takes a fair amount of time to pull off. A really cool combo of boons to watch out for is Artemis Support Fire, Daedalus Hammer Upgrade Flick Knives. Both of these upgrades are good on their own, but when they combine, they complement each other perfectly. Support Fire fires an additional arrow on attack and special. Spoon is great for the Sister Blades because it helps you cover enemies at a distance, and also helps spread out damage to multiple foes, which are both weak areas when it comes to the Blades. The only challenge for support fire is keeping those arrows flying. Enter in Flick Knives. With this upgrade, dash attacks now throw three specials in addition to the swipe. Therefore, on a perfect dash attack, you'll fire four arrows in addition to your attack. This combo lets you focus on an enemy, but then also applying passive damage at range. Another resource that is good to increase is the health board. This run ended with an impressive 395 max health. So let's call out how to maximize that health. Getting Demeter's plentiful forage early on can be huge. Each plant pickup increases max health. I mean, seeds, mushrooms, plants, all counts. To get the most out of this perk, carry the shovel as that will force more seeds to spawn, but it isn't required because mushrooms and plants spawn often no matter what you carry as your tool. Chaos's enshrouded soul, after completing their challenge, increases max health by a set number, and with the rare version it can increase up to 67. I mean, just jumping into Chaos's pool the first time you see it is often recommended. Getting that challenge out of the way early is for the best, because some of them can be truly brutal. Another boon for Max Health is Uncanny Fortitude. Max Health increases based on the limitation to your magic pool. 
It means Uncanny Fortitude requires other boons to have a prime cost. That's not too difficult to find, as boons with prime work well with the sister blades. A great example is already given in Aphrodite's Secret Crush, and soon to be mentioned, Hephaestus' trusty shield. Speaking of Hephaestus, he is always a go-to if you want to tank more blows. Trusty Shield in combo with Arachne's Silken Sash gives him constant armor to keep that health near maximum. Silken Sash's downside is it'll only add armor if Mel already has armor. Trusty Shield helps with that by resetting the minimum armor each round. So you can keep Silken Sash active for long. Another boon from Hephaestus to keep an eye out for is Fixed Gain. This boon fits in the Magic Regen spot and gives a 10% resistance to damage, but only regain magic on damage taken. With the Sister Blades not requiring constant magic, the extra resistance is greatly appreciated, even though it's not as easy to get magic back. Most fights with minions, this Magic Regen isn't even going to be used, but boss fights, especially against Kronos, magic will be flowing. Coming to the end, there are a lot of takeaways from this video. Aphrodite is a great pick for the Sister Blades for both offense and defensive capabilities. Demeter is a great support tool, improving the cast and max health. And Hephaestus is a, always a good trusty shield. So I hope you came away with a new strategy to implement. And if you thought this was helpful, check out my other tips and tricks guides. And I'll see you in the next one.